I'm going to be taking off the inner and outer tie rods because that will be the easiest when it's all still attached. So first we need to loosen this nut and that's a 24 millimeter. Here we go. Well, if this doesn't work, let's get some heat applied to that. Here I use this torch. It has higher temperature than the propane can, so let's get it. Yes, I was able to loosen this sucker. That is it. Didn't have to go anymore. Now we need to proceed with this one. Take the nose pliers and unbend this. Okay, 22 works. I, I am not playing this time. I'm taking the biggest tool I have. play with this okay here I have my lovely tool and a 22 millimeter socket and I'm not playing with this and out it goes now the important bit is to remember how many turns does this have before it comes out so you need to remember that this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 turns, and this sucker comes out. Now we need to remove the inner tie rod. But it's done now. I need to undo the inner side of it. There is a hose that has a clamp. All we need to do is get the pliers into it and just lightly tap on it. Okay. The boot is now undone. Yikes. And this you would need to clean. It's getting rusted. So here is the the ring I was talking about. And if you put the flat uh, screwdriver in it, hammer on it, and then you can pry it out fairly easily. Now, in order to get this inner tie rod, we need this tool. Uh, you can rent this in your local shop, uh, like AutoZone or Advanced Auto. I got this one from AutoZone. Uh, Advanced Auto didn't have it. It has this, um, these stuff, these things that you can put right above it. Um, this size is one inch and seven sixteenth. So if you wanna have, um, if you wanna order yourself a tool that will help you get it, uh, that will, will be it. That's the size. Now let's get it. Okay, and lock it in place. Now, on the other side of this, I'm going to be using a breaker bar.
difficult to get out. Okay, I got it moving. Here it is. All right, so on the inside of this rack, uh, there are ribs and they need to be lubricated. So I'm going to get some lubrication, some grease. I'm just gonna spread it on these gears from the inside. Okay. So here is our new um, inner tires. I will include a link in the description of the, the items that I have bought. So you can see for yourself. Maybe you like it. All right. First, let's just get it threaded. Okay. Let's get this guy. Got it snug. Now I'm gonna tighten it back with the. Well, I don't have the half inch. Tool, so I'm gonna use the breaker bar. Okay, that's tight. So now, as this thing is done, I'm going to remove the nut. With the kit, this is the boot that comes, and it does have zip ties so i don't like the, that idea of using zip ties the knot goes back in actually before the knot goes i need to put another thing in, Her in harbor freight i found this set that i'm going to be using for hose clamps so for the front one i'm gonna need a smaller piece Okay, all right, and then for the bigger one, this is the ring I'm gonna use for the actually, this is too big, it's kind of a tight fit, but I need to slide it all the way back. And here's the inner tie rod, this one comes with a a uh, crown nut and a pin so don't lose the pin or if you do lose the pin get yourself another set so here it is this is how it's supposed to go move it a little bit out of the way so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, so this is the 16, and now I just need to move this knot and lock it in place. This is, um, this is done so you can make it to the alignment shop and they can fix the rest of it and make it uh, drive straight. Okay, now that it's tight, Do this bolt and continue with removal of the rest of the stuff all right so that's how you do the inner and outer tie rod just don't forget to tighten these nuts and move it all the way to the back so that will fit all right then let's proceed to the next stuff